Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back to another retro recipe test. Today, I'm going to be making Snickers salad. Snickers, as in Snickers bar salad. So this recipe was recently brought to my attention by my dear friend Amanda, who comes from rural Minnesota, and she said her mom would make this regularly. And it wasn't necessarily a dessert that was served separately, but more of kind of like a side dish. When she told me about this recipe, I knew I had to make it because it's so simple and sounds so strange, but I think it's going to be delicious. I mean, what's not delicious about a Snickers bar, an apple, and whipped topping. I think what really throws me off is the use of the word salad, because when I think salad, I think Caesar salad, garden salad, chef salad, savory, garlicky, onion oil, not this and this, but this sounds amazing. So let's go ahead and make it. <laughs> the first thing you're going to need are some apples. I have five pretty good size Granny Smith apples. Now Amanda said that they would use Rayburn, but I think any good crisp apple will work well in the salad. When I researched this recipe, a lot of people use Granny Smith apples because they're really crunchy and tart. And I think that will go well with this and this because, you know, we've got a lot of sugar here. And I remember being a kid and dipping these in caramel. I'm like, oh, I'm so healthy, I'm eating fruit. Right, right, okay. So I'm gonna go with these. I love Granny Smith apples. They're nice and tart, and they've got a nice, hard, crunchy bite to them. So we're just gonna cut the apple into bite-sized pieces. Amanda also tells me that Ambrosia salads or salads that contain gelatin and whipped topping are very popular as well, although she says she can't stand them. I have not difficulty with them, but I don't particularly care for them either. <laughs> All right, so here is my bowl of Granny Smith apples. This is four large apples. Now we're gonna tend to my favorite part of this salad, which are the Snickers bars. I love Snickers bar, hands down my favorite candy bar. And we're just gonna cut these into bite-sized pieces as well. Now, Amanda tells me you can add as many as you like. I think I'm going to add one per apple. So four Snickers bars, four apples. But you can put as many as you like, she told me. Amanda says it's okay. <laughs> All right, Snickers bars. Oh. oh, yes. I always buy these at Halloween time because I like them. I give some to the kids and I give some to myself. So, look, ah, oh, look at that. That's just, look at that, look at that. We got a layer of nougat, we got a layer of caramel, peanuts, and then chocolate sandwichy, yes. Chop these up. Add this to the salad bowl. Boom. Think of that right there. This is beautiful. Now we take our thawed whipped topping and I'm gonna add most of this container, if not the whole container. Whoa, get back in there. Everyone wants to flee. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. That was like the easiest salad I've ever made in my entire life. Amazing. Alrighty, let's give our Snickers salad a taste. It smells great. It smells like vanilla from the Cool Whip topping. I haven't even tasted this, and what I find interesting is that I immediately think this is potato salad, but I know that it isn't because it smells sweet and I just made it. I know what's in it, but that's what it reminds me of, a potato salad, but it's not gonna be potato salad. <laughs> now I've got a bite of everything. I had to make sure I got a piece of Snickers bar as well. All right, this one goes out to you, Amanda. Itadakimasu. It's delicious, <laughs> absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. I dare say dangerously delicious. The apples are fantastic, they're tangy, they've got a really great crunch. 
And then you've got everything coated in this whipped topping, which is sweet and vanilla, but relatively light. And then you get the little treats of the bits of Snickers bar in there, which are chewy and peanutty and sweet and chocolatey and caramelly, which is a wonderful combination with the apples because they're sweet and the apples are tangy and it's just really, really good. <laughs> Mm -hmm. What I find interesting about this recipe is that I realized how sweet Snickers bars are. You don't get one with every bite, which is a good thing. But when you do get one, I find that I want to eat some more apple to kind of balance out the sweetness. The apples are nice and tangy and they have that great crunch. And it's a really great contrast to that caramel bite. So I take one bite of Snickers bar and then usually when I have a Snickers bar, I'm just like more Snickers bar. But in this case, I have a bite of Snickers bar and then I want more apple to kind of tone it down. So in that sense, I'm eating more fruit, but then everything is enrobed in whipped topping, which I think sort of negates that fact. But at any rate, this is an absolutely delicious salad. I love it. Mm hmm. You Minnesotans, you guys know. Although it's not just in Minnesota that this salad is served. I think it's served all over the Midwest. If you've had it before, let me know in the comments below. If you have any additions or changes you make to the salad, let me know. Amanda says sometimes if her mom's feeling fancy, she adds a handful of grapes to this as well, which I imagine would be great. And I should mention that it's believed that this recipe may have its origins in the Watergate salad, which is a similar kind of fruit salad. Alrighty, so there you have it, the Snickers salad, absolutely delicious. I have to say a outlier when it comes to my retro recipes because they tend to be pretty gross, but this one is not. Big thanks to Amanda for bringing this recipe to my attention. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy that one. I hope you guys learned something. Let me know in the comments if there's a recipe you'd like me to test out or try. Share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media and like and subscribe and I shall see you in the next one. Take care. Bye. <laughs>